What's up, everybody? It's Saturday, day number two on building the Alicia field. So yesterday we built the top half. Uh, I say we, we may have built, built more than half yesterday, but we got the top part, the first part I cut done. So we played baseball this morning, played two games, our first uh, good pitch tournament. That was interesting. Won both games. And now I'm in a tractor, fix to start raking. Uh, and then we'll get to bailing. It's hot. But it is South Alabama in August, so you, you kind of got to expect that. Uh, here we go. Stay tuned. Welcome to Strickland Farms. All right, everybody, it is 6.30, and I have bailed that terrace, and I'm on, I got two more windrows, this one and this one, on this terrace, and then I'll lack that bottom big terrace, and then the little sides, but I don't know if I'll get to it today, because it's already almost 6.30, which... 14% moisture, so the moisture's still good. As long as the moisture's still good, I'm still gonna bail. But if the moisture falls off, or not falls off, goes up, then I'll stop. Which wouldn't hurt my feelings, because I'm tired. That sun whipped my tail today. But I didn't feel much because of that. I just been riding alone. Dad's raking for me. Uh, which he's got pretty far ahead of me. He's already raked all that down there. I don't know. We'll get close to finishing tonight, but we may not finish. All right, so still 16%. I've got 129 bales, got 130 in the chamber, but you see where the sun's at? I don't want to risk. Building. Bunch of wet hay. <laughs> but, uh, so I'll probably call it quits when I finish this bell. Hey, Dad's gonna finish raking the rest of the field. All I like to bail. I'll show you. Oh, crap. He's right there. I just got light this little corner down here. Not much. <sighs> so we're gonna call it quits for today. We'll pick this back up tomorrow, I reckon. As soon as I finish this bell. On YouTube, it is Sunday afternoon. Let's see what time it is. It is five o'clock. So we played ball today. Ended up getting second place, but really, really proud of the boys. Their first ever kid pitch uh, tournament to get second place out of five teams. Pitch good, hit good. I mean, learned a ton. That's the biggest thing, in my opinion, is you know how how much they learned in the last two days. But so uh, when I got done playing ball, we came home and I ran over back to the Alicia field and finished bailing those last few rows. I think I got ten more bales. Ended up with 140 something bales. So almost three bales an acre on that second cut on that. So I'm pleased with that pretty good but uh now i have moved back to level plains and i am at the uh holland farm which is 20 no why did i say that i'm at the uh powell farm which is 20 acres uh dad cut it thursday and friday and so dad had brought the rake over here for me and but he brought it we left the um oh hold on let me start saying i'm at the Howell place dad brought the 5403 motor tractor over here and the rake so i'm by myself dad's cut hay again which is good um so i raked this five acre field 
I raked almost all of the little two acre field over there and I did a field right through those woods. It's two acres, I did the turnaround rows on it. So I'm just gonna keep kind of, I'm gonna bail this whole field, bail all those turnaround rows and I'll go back to raking. So didn't film any of that because I was on that open station tractor and it's loud. And, but we're getting her done. A lot of hay out here. Oh, um, a lot of hay grass. It's not bad. It's good and dry, that's for sure. So, so. windrows are big. I don't know if you see that big dirty windrows. <laughs> but that's what we're doing. Trying to get uh, these first three fields knocked out today, and then uh, come back tomorrow and finish it. So. Tomorrow I should have Dad helping me. He's cutting hay still over at the um, Holland place. So stay tuned. All right, everybody. Day number two of bailing over here at the Howell Farm. Uh, I don't like much. Uh, the backfield's eight acres, and then the next to the backfield, the field on the other side of this one right here, is four acres. And I like a couple passes in there, and then the eight acre field, and I'll be done. Then we'll move to the next one. So let's get started. I'll hop on this thing. I ain't gonna do no filming riding this joker. It's dusty, it's loud. So here we go. So I come around the corner of the field, raking, and there's a buck deer. There was another one standing there with him. The first one ran off. There was two of them, they look like twins. <laughs> That's crazy. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Strickland Farms. Jeremy Strickland here. So today, I did not finish bailing at the Howell Farm yesterday. I ran out of net wrap about four bales into bailing this back eight acre field. Three or four bales. And it was too late for me to try to get out of here and go get net wrap, so dad got me some net wrap. So today is Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. Today's running good. Today's Tuesday. I just pulled back out into the field. I got everything raked up, ready to go. But so I got a new raw net wrap, so we're ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna build this. As soon as I finish this eight-acre field, I'm headed straight to the Holland field, 24 acres. I finished, I went over there and finished cutting it last night, but so about half of it's ready to bail today. The other half we'll have to wait till tomorrow. So, y'all stay tuned. On a side note, getting close to 800 subscribers. My goal is a thousand in the first year. So September will make the, the first year. Well, end of August, first of September, I'll make the first year. We're at like seven, I don't know, 60 maybe. So, y'all click that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. Um, I, I love seeing y'all's comments. Especially when people interact with me, so I'm just a country boy in Southeast Alabama that works a regular job and farms on the side because I love it. I hope my kids love it too. My son, right now, he does, so we'll see how he ends up. But I grew up on a farm and I want him to, so y'all stay tuned. All right, so let's turn the bell on. I'm gonna open my back glass so I can listen. Sounds good. Let my header down. Sounds good. PTO's on. Now we're gonna go full throttle. So on this tractor, it has a PTO um, cruise. You can turn it on and it stays at 540 all the time. See, 540. So full throttle doesn't mean full throttle. I'm running right at just below 2000 RPMs. So if you turn the PTO cruise off, now I'm running at 2200 RPMs. This is at 600 on the PTO. Turn it back on, drops it back down to 540. Just a little, show y'all about that. But now I got my baler running, monitor's on, I'm gonna put it in drive and start bailing. That gum cowbirds having time on my tractor. This is a very terraced field. 
and it's got some rough spots in it but the terraces are pretty steep so I tend to go slow when I cross terraces and I have to rake with the terraces I only did two in rows just so I don't have to go over terraces that much but a lot of hay out here big wind rows yesterday they're really big and fluffy so I was having problems with them hanging up under the tractor so with it leaving them here laying for a day it makes it better they flattened out a little bit all right now we got over them terraces let's kick it up go a little faster That window is still pretty daggum big. That has nut grass. There's a couple spots out here. But it's dry, dry, dry. It's dry here. Oops. It's dry here. Uh, we hadn't had rain in nine days, I think. We had a decent chance this coming Saturday. Today's Tuesday. But um, they've squashed it now. Pushed it back a little few days. Good looking better. So, we need it. My peanuts need it. Finish them out. So, we're going to keep on bailing. I'll bring y'all back out when I get done with this field. Let you know what this whole place did. It's 20 acres, the whole farm, and five fields, which is not ideal. But, I mean, it don't really matter for hay. I mean, I'd love for it to be a 20 acre flat field with no terraces, but can't have you cake and eat it too, I guess. But there's a lot of hay here. I'm almost at another bell and we just dumped that one out. So. It's clicking along pretty fast. Probably go faster if we'd speed up a little bit. another bell done finished with this dude ended up with 86 bells on 20 acres that's it's pretty good I'll take it but now we got the long drive out of here so I'm in the back eight acre field or if it's to go through the woods to the four acre field across a little branch right there but it's dry because it's dry here all right now we're into the four acre field there's two ways to get out of this field you can go up to the cotton field and go through one of the smaller fields or you can go straight through a two acre field and then into another two acre field well that's rough as crap it's terrible so we're going to go up into the cotton field show y'all that way too rough in that little field right there so that's that little two acre field right over there but we're gonna turn right here and go up into this cotton field I want to say that field right there is four acres I think but that's the 30 acre cotton field and then this field which is right behind the house of this place but I've already hauled 10 bells out of that field. There's two, four, six, seven left. All right, we're on the road now, headed to the hollow place to start bailing over there. Y'all stay tuned. All right, everybody. I have made it over to the Holland field. It's 24 acres. I have raked four outside rounds, turn around rows, and I'm bailing them now. And then I'll start raking back and forth. Not a lot of hay here, but really good quality. I mean, it's, it's really good hay. I fertilized it, doesn't have any weeds in it. So it's good stuff, but it was just short. Um, I don't know why, because I poured the fertilizer to it. We uh, had a little incident with the spreading the fertilizer, but the co-op fixed it. Uh, 
something was wrong with their truck and it spread on one side, but they came back and fixed it. So. Let's back back up over that terrace. Get up that middle. So. I have upgraded rake tractors. I dumped off the 5403 and daddy used it to load hay. I took the cutter off of that tractor because we're done cutting for a while. There ain't no point in cutting. It ain't rained in two weeks. It's too getting tough and just hold off, wait for a rain because ain't nothing growing right now. So, Ooh, these terraces are steep on this end of the field. All right, I just got done bailing my turnaround rows. So now I'm headed back to the rake tractor and get started. That's good stuff. Short, tender, very tender, good and dry. Good stuff. Wish it was a little bit taller, but that's the way it goes. We'll get started again.